How are you? Fine. Okay. Oh. You already have essentially the solution. You are cold. Maybe. You know that you are coming from the Mediterranean, so you understand you are Mediterranean. Okay. Look, today we have a, as always a very intense agenda, two hot spots. Uh, Russia Ukraine on one side and Bosnia Herzegovina on the other. Don't, don't dismiss the importance of what is happening in Bosnia Herzegovina. It's going to take an important part of our meeting today because the nationalist and separatist rhetoric is increasing in Bosnia Herzegovina and jeopardizing the stability and, and even, the, the, even the, the integrity of the country. And the ministers have to take decisions about how to stop these dynamics in Bosnia Herzegovina and to avoid that the country can fall apart in pieces. This is a critical situation and the ministers will have to take some decisions about it. And then certainly uh, we will have uh, Minister Kuleba, Foreign Affairs Minister from Ukraine. I had a meeting with him yesterday, had a dinner, a long discussion understanding better how is the situation on the ground. The ministers will discuss with him, continue structuring our support, thinking in our answer, and giving all insurances we could in order to make him sure that uh, we will continue supporting Ukraine at the most critical moment, if this happens, if this happens. Another important thing, although not a hot topic, but important one, is the meeting with the Gulf. We are going to have here, the, I will co-chair with the Saudis foreign minister, a meeting with the countries in the Gulf. The Gulf require more and more attention, not just because now we want to have more gas from the Gulf, we want to have more gas from the Gulf, but it is a, a much more important region and we have to pay more attention to it. There are other topics, but I think these three are the most important ones. I mean, what do you recommend to your Ukrainian colleagues? I mean, this shelling going, uh, shelling going on and they are getting more and more nervous. What do you recommend to them? Well, I don't see the minister nervous, not at all. By the contrary, as the Mr. Zelensky said, uh, the worst enemy would be be in panic mode. They are not in panic mode. They are worried, they are concerned, they feel threatened, but I don't see they are nervous at all. What is the sanction? Potential sanctions. Well, sanctions is a summit. Oh, yes, as many as many diplomatic tools as one could imagine should be mobilized. Summits, meetings at the level of ministers, at the level of leaders, whatever format, whatever way of talking and sitting in the table and trying to avoid the war is badly needed and we will support anything that can make diplomatic conversations the best way, the only way to look for a solution to the crisis. About sanctions, I know you are very much worried about sanctions. The minister will continue knowing about the situation. In fact, the work is done. The work is done. We are ready. Uh, I will call for an extraordinary meeting of the Foreign Affairs Council, and I will present the sanctions at the right moment. When the moment comes, I will call for an extraordinary meeting, because sanctions, it's a competence of the Council. I want to repeat it, because it's important to know who decides what in these institutions. And it's the Council who takes this decision under my proposal. We are ready to do that when the moment comes. And I hope, and we are working for the moment, will not come. Why, why is there a cyber attack simulation? Sorry, I cannot answer all the questions at the same time. You did exclude almost uh, the scenario of the war. Are you still excluding this scenario? I am working for it. Senor Borrell, just how you